up Explore It. I'm Chelsea and you're watching my channel Chelsea Explores and today we are exploring a day in Coronado and all that you can do here. So as you can see in the background we have the beautiful San Diego Bay which is one side of Coronado and then the other side of Coronado consists of the ocean and Hotel Dell and all the fun shopping and restaurants that you can eat at. So today we are going to be exploring Coronado via bike which is a very common thing to do here. Everyone that lives on this island seems to either have a bike or golf cart. It's super easy to get around. The island is pretty flat itself so if you're looking for something fun to do then I recommend biking here. You can rent a bike from Bike and Kayaks Coronado. We actually chose to purchase the Go City Pass of San Diego which offers you a ton of attractions that you can do around San Diego and one of those attractions includes the bike rental. It's an all-day bike rental. It's super simple. You scan a little QR code and it takes you on a bike route around Coronado so you get to see a little bit of everything. The bike ride itself starts on this side of the island that faces that San Diego Bay and then takes you all the way around to Tidelands Park under the Coronado Bridge out towards Hotel Dell where you can stop, eat some food, get a good drink, explore the Hotel Dell, maybe a walk on the beach. Time to head back out on a little bike ride down to the other part of the island. standing in front of the Hotel Dell, which is one of the most iconic sites of Coronado, California. This place is located right on the oceanfront and it's absolutely beautiful. Maybe a little pricey to stay here, but it would be a gorgeous spot to have a wedding or just come walk around. Right now, I'm actually standing on some grass in front of the hotel, but in the wintertime, this place turns into a magical winter wonderland. It turns into an ice skating arena. Now where else in the world could you ice skate looking at the beach? I don't think there's anywhere. So come to Coronado and check this place out in the winter time. So in the Hotel Dell, there's actually tons of shopping that you can do, places to eat. Uh, as you can see, there's some restaurants over here. You can sit here and enjoy a beautiful drink or you can sit on the water, rent a cabana. One thing that you actually may not know is that the Hotel Dell is one of the haunted places in San Diego. I have a whole article that I will link in the description below about all the haunted places in San Diego that you can find, but there is a tour that you can take here to see how this place became haunted and the story behind it. Hotel Dell is situated on the main street, which is called Orange Street. So within walking distance of this hotel, you can find a lot more restaurants, a lot more shops. We personally checked out the Henry, which is a great place to either grab a quick coffee and breakfast to go in the morning, or if you're looking for more of a sit down place to eat, they have beautiful drinks, delicious food, and the cutest vibes there. So check out the Henry for some food. They have anything from breakfast to lunch to dinner and late night drinks. Okay, so now it is lunch time and there are a ton of options for places for lunch. But if you guys know me, I like to try to be a little bit healthier. Um, but they really have everything here on the main strip of Orange Street. But we're gonna check out Parakeet Cafe. One, because it's a super cute place. It's like a coffee shop, but they also have the best salad. So I recommend checking out Parakeet Cafe. <music> Vegan treats, healthy salads, and, and a mall, and a 
We just finished lunch. We are walking down the street looking at all the cute shops and now we're gonna head into the Museum of History and Art. If you are in San Diego, you can get the Go City Pass and this is one of the stops along the way. That Go City Pass also includes the bike rentals, uh, the ferry, and a few other things. There's a ton of options, but there's a few specifically for Coronado. So let's go check this out. So this is the uh, exhibit that we have about the Japanese American community here in Coronado from the turn of the century to World War II. along the beach you can ride down the street here on your bikes and check out what's called the dream homes of Coronado these homes are absolutely stunning beautiful beach behind me and we got our cute little bikes that we rented so such a fun day and such a fun thing to do pit stop along the way at Bayview Park. It's a very tiny little area, but it's got some beautiful views. So if you want to stop here on your ride back, then this is a great spot. It's got great views. Maybe bring a date here. I don't know. So we decided to take the Coronado Ferry across the bay back to downtown San Diego. You can hop on this ferry from either side. And just for you, for you to know, there's actually two ferries. One that runs to the convention center and one that runs to Broadway Pier. <laughs> so uh, make sure to check the ferry times before you ride this ferry. But I recommend riding this ferry around sunset time because the views are just gorgeous with the sun setting. So if you can time it right, then it's perfect. And the Ghost City Pass actually also covers this. The Go City Pass covers a ton of San Diego attractions, including one of the ones behind me, which is the USS Midway. So you can take a tour of the this boat, and it's actually a pretty epic tour. I've done it before. You get to learn a, a lot about the history of San Diego and that ship specifically, so make sure to check it out. I hope you enjoyed this Coronado itinerary, and we will see you next week for another episode of Chelsea Explores.